Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to install your own MC4 connectors. This will be helpful if you want to extend or shorten your PV wires. There are lots of use cases for being able to install your own. Um, I personally want to be able to install my own because I want to be able to connect um, to my own IMO PV disconnect for a portable solar powered generator. Uh, I want to be able to connect my own portable array whenever I'm ready to charge my portable generator um, when I'm ready to charge with solar. So let's get started. The first thing to understand and probably the most important is the anatomy of your MC4 connectors. We have the male connector end and the female connector end. Within these, we have the female terminal end and the male terminal end. These will be making your electrical connection with inside your connector ends. The female terminal end becomes a pair with your male terminal, with your male connector end. Your female terminal end becomes a pair with your female connector end. If you get this part right, the rest is easy. You have your compression sleeve and then your connector cap. Once you figure out that you have your female terminal end with your male connector end and your male terminal end with your female connector end and you set those aside, you're ready to begin connecting your wires. Before we actually start wiring up, there is one other thing that we need to take note of is our solar panels. As we look at our solar panels, they are already wired up with MC4 connectors. Notice we have a male connector and we have a female connector. The male connector is a positive connector always, I'll say most always coming from your solar panel. It's some, always good to double check. This one does say it's positive and we could double check that it's positive on our panel itself. Um, the female is usually our negative wire. So when we're wiring up a connector, we always want to make sure that we're wiring up a female connector to connect to our positive wire. Some of the tools that you'll be needing are wire cutters and strippers. We've got multiple kinds of strippers here, universal strippers. You can use any of them. Some of them are easier to use than others. We have some Stobley spanners here, which will help us tighten our connector ends. At the end, they also serve as being able to disconnect these when we need to. Um, if you need to disconnect these at some point, they will press in, maybe. It will help to press those in. The more that you press those in, sometimes you can do them with your fingers. It's easier to do with the tools. These also act as a torque wrench, if you will, um, when you're tightening your caps down. Now, we also need some crimpers. These are some MC4 connectors and some spanner tools that we have at Signature Solar. We don't actually sell the crimpers at Signature Solar, so this kit was purchased for about $30 from Amazon and you will need some crimpers for your terminal ends and those look like this. And we are going to be using 10 gauge wire so just make sure that they fit your 10 gauge wire. These go from a range of 2.6 to 6 millimeter squared and the 6 millimeter squared is what we'll be using for 10 gauge wire. 10 gauge wire is PV wire which has a really thick, heavy insulation, which makes it hard to just cut through the wire and pull. So some of these special wire pulling tools do help remove that insulation. This kit also comes with its own spanner tools, which we can use, and it comes with six MC4 connector kits. Male, female connector, male, female terminal ends. One thing I do want to mention is it is recommended that you use the same MC4 connectors for all of your uh, array that you are going to be connecting because these terminal ends fit differently sometimes and if there's any kind of gap or you don't have a good fit, DC current, if there's any kind of gap, can cause fires. 
So you want to make sure whatever MC4 connectors, they are consistent within your whole system. Um, so make sure you keep that consistent. The Stobly ones that we sell here at Signature Solar uh, do have a track record of being high quality. So just make sure you do your research on whatever it is that you are purchasing and uh, make sure they do have a good track record. Let's get started with our positive red wire that we will connect to our male connector here. So we'll use our female end. We've decided that we need a male connector with our female end. One thing I do want to point out is that when these connect, we need to talk about how far to strip the wire. You do not want to strip the wire so that it goes all the way up or that could cause you to not be able to make a full connection to insert these as far as they need to go. I won't put those all the way in, but if this were to insert, it's going to need to go all the way up to this point here. So if we're going to measure how far we need to strip the wire, we wouldn't need to strip it more than a half inch. Okay, so we'll start by making a nice clean end, a positive red wire. We'll go ahead and strip it to about half inch. We're doing our positive side, so our female connector with our male terminal end. We'll go ahead and take our end cap and our compression sleeve, slide those down so we don't forget them. Take our crimpers, put the bottom side down on what I'm calling the tooth so that they can crimp at the top to make it curve nice and over down onto our wire. We'll stick our wire in there down to the insulation and clamp it all the way to where the handles touch each other. And got a nice good clamp. And then we'll take our female connector Press it all the way down until you hear it click and then see if you can pull it off. If you can't pull it off, you've got a good snap. We'll take our connector end and screw it until we can finger tighten it down. And then we'll take our spanner tools that act as our torque wrenches and tighten it down. Till we hear a couple of clicks, and then we'll know it's torqued down tight enough. We have our female connector end that we can now connect our extension wire to our positive male end for our positive cable. Now let's do our negative cable. Our male end is going to connect to our female end for our negative cable. We'll start by making sure we have a clean, nice end. We'll strip it about a half inch. One thing to note is because of the way that it clamps down where it brings it curled down on the top, you don't want to twist these too much if you twist them at all, um, just because you can cause some breakage in on the wire. We'll put our female terminal in into our tooth. We just kind of hold that tight. End cap and compression sleeve. We'll insert our wire into there, up into the insulation, clamp down. We've got a good seal. Press your male connector in and down until you hear a click. Make sure you have a good connection. Screw 
screw down your cap and then tighten with your spanner tools. When you hear it click, should be good to go. And we know we have the right one when they connect correctly. And that's all there is to it. Now you can confidently install your own MC4 connectors and have your solar system up and running in no time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more solar installations, tips, tricks, and solar insights. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe solar is for everyone. See you next time.